because life is very confusing. Even I'm 49 years old and I haven't found a cruising altitude to my identity. I'm still fucking confused. I really, I get new feelings and they upset me. I don't like new feelings. I want to know what I like and get it and just die. That's what I want to do at this point. Like, I, get, I have a weird relationship with this movie that's on cable sometimes. It's called Magic Mike. You ever seen this movie? <laughs> Magic Mike. For those of you watching this on video many years from now, <laughs> Magic Mike was a movie about male strippers starring Matthew McConaughey and Channing Tatum. Uh, and it was a very different country when it was <laughs> made from whatever you're watching. But anyway, we had a whole other thing going on. This building's not here anymore. But you're watching it on a dusty thing, and it's all rubble. And you're watching this. I don't know why you're watching this out of everything. But when things were real easy, we made movies like Magic Mike. It's just a nice movie about men who strip. <laughs> and uh, every time I'm flipping around and it comes on, I always stop. And then I play a little game of chicken with this movie. <laughs> I stop because it's a good movie. It's well made, directed by Steven Soderbergh, good director. And so I get into it, I get into the story, and then they start stripping. And then I start having all these feelings. <laughs> get, my face gets a little hot. At first, I just get hostile for no reason. I go, fucking, fucking, But then there's one part of the movie that I like. I have a favorite part of Magic Mike. So I always stick around for that part. It's the part where Matthew McConaughey, he's wearing leather pants, no shirt. And he goes, the law says you cannot touch. But I think I see a lot of law breakers out there. I guess that. It's like perfect. It's the way he rolls out of him. I think I see a lot of law breakers out there. I just really like that. I like it. And when the movie comes on, I'm always like, all right, let's get to where he says that. And then he says it, and I'm like, oh, fucking good. That's really good. I like it a lot. Here's how much I like it. I don't really do impressions, and I kind of nail that one because I think about it all the time. I'm walking around my house like, oh, the law says you can't touch. Law says you can't touch. And I go up to my dog, but I think I see a lot of lawbreakers right here. like that part. And then after he says it, all these strippers come on, Matthew McConaughey, all these strippers, Channing Tatum comes out, fucking. <laughs> and then I go like, fuck, and then I have to stop. Because I'm starting to get a feeling. I'm just starting to get like a feeling. It's not a boner. It's not a boner. But I, 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 I can feel my dick starting to turn over a little bit. Just starting to... You know when you can feel your dick kind of unfold? It's like a, like a pool toy that's been blowing up for a while. The, the wrinkles are starting to come out. It's taking shape. It's like... Just that early, my dick's just waking up. <sighs> what are you guys doing here? <laughs> anyway, I've never watched the whole movie. I've never seen Magic Mike in its entirety because I don't want to see it. I don't want to see the end of Magic Mike. I know what the end of Magic Mike is. I'm pretty sure that the end of Magic Mike is that I'm gay. Pretty sure that's how it ends. I don't want to see the ending. 
I want to stay like this. You know why? Because I'm 49 years old. I don't want to enter the gay community now. This is not the version of me that's going to have an awesome time as the new gay guy. So fuck that. And that's my right, by the way, because that's about me. That is my life. I would never discriminate against another person for being gay. I wouldn't dream of it, but I have every right to oppress and discriminate against my own possible budding homosexuality. That's mine to just violently push down. Like it's a dude I'm trying to make blow me right now. And you know, I haven't become like uh, generally attracted to men. I'm not sexually attracted to men. Just Matthew McConaughey <laughs> and Channing Tatum. Those two guys, fuck. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Seriously. Matthew with his like leathery skin, he's like, ah. <laughs> Just, ah. <laughs> Fucking sexy. And Channing, kind of dumb face, like, eh. I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I like it. But men in general, I'm not into it. It's just these, you know what I think it is? It's, I'm only gay for the best. I'm top shelf gay. I'm not retail gay, you know what I mean? I'm not off the rack gay. I'm not gonna go to J.C. Penney's and suck a bunch of dicks. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Neiman Marcus and get this signature collection. <laughs> Platinum dick. The best. The best dick. Because I'll try the best anything. If it's the best one, I'll try it. Like, I don't like cognac. I would never buy a bottle of Hennessy and keep it in my house. But I had never tried the best cognac. If somebody was like, would you like to try this cognac? It's, this cognac was 500 years old, 300 years ago. <laughs> like, yeah, fucking give me that. We're gonna go to, like if somebody asked me to go to a Kenyan restaurant, I don't wanna go to a Kenyan restaurant. I know all the foods that I like. But if somebody was like, this is the best Kenyan restaurant, it takes six months to get a reservation, I can get you in, they fly live turtles in. <laughs> and you eat, you bite off its screaming face while it's alive. <laughs> and every turtle you eat is the last of his species. <laughs> ah, can't wait to eat that fucking turtle. <laughs> I'm gonna end his people with my mouth. The best, I'll try it. If somebody was like, we have a guy here, he has the best dick. The best dick ever. His dick has been soaking in olive oil since he was five years old. <laughs> We've been feeding him nothing but butter and penises his whole life. He is the best dick and you can suck it right now. Well, let me see it. <laughs> Can I see it? Can you take it out? <sighs> Shit, that's beautiful. Oh my God. <laughs> that's my favorite thing now. Fuck, I shouldn't have looked at it. Let's bring it closer. I don't, want, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but bring it closer, please. I think at that point you put it in your mouth, right? <laughs> if you're looking at the best dick ever and you're not sure you want to suck it, just put it in your mouth. And then decide, just for like 20 seconds. <laughs> That's a long time. That's 20, 20 <laughs> seconds. That's a long time to have a dick in your mouth.
that you're ambivalent about. It's 20 seconds. If you have a dick in your mouth for 20 seconds, you are not deciding. 20 seconds. This is, I'll show you. This is 20 seconds with a dick in your mouth. Nah. <laughs> nah. Yeah. I decided not to suck that dick that's been in my mouth all day. <laughs> <laughs>